At the start of the at the start of the film, we see a boy. He was doing the practice of a magic spell. The name of this boy King Ming and he is doing the practice of a protection spell. This spell is important to become a master. King Ming couldn't do this spell. After it, he says to his master that I can't do this spell. On it, the master says to him that if there is anyone in your life whom you want to protect, do the practice while thinking about that person. Then it is shown that King Ming grew older while practicing that spell. After the years when he couldn't do this spell, he says to his master that we should practice the teleportation spell instead of this protection spell. The master knows that King Ming can do the teleportation spell. He rejects his offer. The master tells him that to defeat any strong enemy just a teleportation spell is not enough. With it, to become a good master it is important for him to learn the protection spell. They were talking meanwhile the protection wall starts to break. After it, the master understands that it is the curse of the demon snake. After seeing that snake, the master transport King Ming in another direction. Then he calls his three guardian spirits. The three guardian spirits come there to help the master. Two guardian spirits try to save that protective wall. One guardian spirit protects the master. But the help of those three guardians was useless. The protective wall breaks. Meanwhile, King Ming arrives there with the other students. That snake was about to attack them all but the master asks them all to use a protection spell. The other students start using the protection spell but King Ming ignores the master. He starts using the teleportation spell. When the snake was about to attack King Ming poisonously, the master comes in front of King Ming and saves him. On the other side, one of the guardian spirits of the master kills the snake while sacrificing its life. Now King Ming is worried due to his master's death. He is also sad. Because the poison was spreading in his master's body because of him. Before dying, the master tells the truth of that snake to King Ming. He tells that how before 300 years ago due to the greed of the human that snake produced. To imprison that snake four masters came in front. They imprisoned that snake together in the imperial city. That is still imprisoned in the body of the queen of the imperial city. Four stone guardians are protecting it. They are sleeping right now in the form of a statue. These are the dragon statue, turtle statue, bird statue, and tiger statue. And whenever that snake will try to move from there, four masters will have to go there to wake up those statues. On the other side, we are shown that the queen of the imperial city is worried now. Because she comes to know that the demon snake is awake. Now King Ming arrives the imperial city. There he sees a man at the gate. He was playing the flute. He is actually a master. His name is Boya. Then they hear the sound of another melody. They follow that voice. After following some time they come to know that melody was playing by a demon. Boya asks him that how dare you steal this flute? This is the flute of our king. That demon tells him that when his friend was alive she sings songs in the palace. She often plays that melody. I just want to listen to that melody because I was missing her. Boya hates the devils. Here he was about to kill that demon. But King Ming saves him. Then King Ming tells Boya that he is a demon but not a bad demon that you kill him. Boya says to King Ming that he is a devil. He is very bad. He doesn't know about goodness or love. King Ming says why not? Why he didn't know it? Due to these things, there is a fight between King Ming and Boya. In the fight King Ming defeats him and after it, Boya leaves from there. Basically, Boya was called to the imperial city to fight with that snake. Because he was one of those masters. But King Ming and Boya don't know about it. After it, that demon asks King Ming that master please make me your slave. Then King Ming makes that demon his guardian spirit. He named him Killing Stone. In the next scene, we are shown the palace of the queen. Three masters were gathered there. King Ming, Bo Ya, and Zhong Zing. But the fourth master Wang Duo was not there. 
And here's Hongzing and Boya come to know that they are masters. Here's Hongzing meets with the priest of the palace. He is also the bodyguard of the queen there. That priest tells them that to awake the guardian angels tomorrow will be the ritual performed. And he asks them to sleep early tonight to take a rest. Here King Ming sees that the face of that priest was resembling his master. In the next scene, we are shown that these all masters meet with the princes. They come to know that someone has killed the fourth master Wang Duo during the journey. Then these masters go to the queen to discuss this thing. Here the queen stays behind the curtain and she gives orders from behind the curtain. The queen is worried and in anger. That who had killed the fourth master before the most important ritual. After it, the queen makes the princes responsible to perform the ritual. With it, she orders to investigate the death of the master Wang Duo. She asks the priest of her palace to become the fourth master. After it, the four masters start the ritual. During the ritual, a demon attacks the princes. Here King Ming saves the princes and Boya completes the ritual with that demon spirit. After it, the four guardian souls were ready to awake. Then suddenly the color of the sky changes. With the change in the weather King Ming and Boya understand that some demon has again attacked them. They run towards the room of the princes. Going there they see that the priest is fighting with the master Long Ye. The priest says that the master Long Ye wants to kill the queen. But Long Ye refuses for this. After it, there is a fight among those four. During this fight, Long Ye dies and the hair demon kills her. But before dying, Long Ye tells King Ming something about the queen. King Ming couldn't hear this well. Now the next morning Bo Ya and King Ming meet. Their boya tells him that he is suspicious about the priest. But King Ming says something else. He tells that he is suspicious about the queen. Then they become against each other and start their investigation. King Ming goes to his room. He sees that the princess is trying to steal his sword. That is the sword that is given by the master to King Ming. And that snake can also be killed with this sword. Then King Ming asks the princess that why she was stealing his sword. But before the princess tells anything to King Ming the hair demon attacks the princess. Then the hair demon tells King Ming that she was waiting for this for 60 years. King Ming finds a picture of the queen from her. In which she was looking like the princess. Seeing it, King Ming understands the whole thing. After it, he goes to Boya. To tell him the whole thing. Here Boya arrived at the priest to investigate. Then King Ming sees that Boya is fell on the ground. And the priest has run from there. Then King Ming lifts Boya and they go out from the palace. There they meet the princess and the priest both. Boya asks the princess that why she and the priest deceived the queen. Here King Ming tells him that she is not the princess she is the queen. This means the queen is the princess and the princess is the queen. Whom they see behind the curtain was the statue of the queen. The priest was controlling that statue. What is this all happening? So the thing is that when that snake attacks that imperial city the four masters defeat that snake. After it, the queen means the princess Jungping has imprisoned that snake in her body. She becomes immortal and after it, her age didn't change. Now to imprison that snake in her body that queen also had to imprison herself in the palace. And she can never go out of her palace. Now while living in the palace, for many years the princess gets disappointment. She was very sad. After it, the master of King Ming arrives in the palace. After his arrival the princess was happy. But he couldn't live there for always and they had to leave. But to avoid the sadness of the princess the master gives her a guardian angel. He seems to like him. That guardian angel was none other than that priest. Now the princess thinks that he is the master but he was none other than that guardian angel. After few years the priest tells the princess that he wants to become immortal. Now because the priest looks like the master the princess agrees. But for this Hase has to take out that snake from her body. That was imprisoned in her body for many years. 
After it, the priest has to imprison that snake in his body. With it, he will become immortal. After hearing this, King Ming and Boya attack that priest. Here the priest uses a teleportation spell on them. As we know that the teleportation spell of King Ming is strong so he saves from that spell. On the other side, we are shown that the body of the princess is aching. This means that the snake is coming out from her body. Now after the snake came out of her body the princess becomes mortal. After it, that snake goes into the priest's body. Due to it, that priest is immortal now. While seeing the priest changes into a big poisonous snake. He is now going to destroy the imperial city. With it, those four guardian stones are active. After it, they are making the protection wall outside the imperial city. So that snake couldn't come out from there. But here one guardian stone wasn't activated. That is a bird. That bird was bot activated because during the ritual that priest willingly doesn't activate that bird. After it, King Ming calls his three guardian spirits. So that they can help them. One of the guardian spirits makes a protective wall in front of King Ming. So that King Ming can stay safe. The other two guardians start fighting with the snake. Here we can see a heavy fight. When the situation goes out of control the priest comes in front. So he can fight. Here the priest kills those guardian spirits. Boya was scared here that the snake could go outside from the imperial city. Here it is shown that the protective wall is completed. That wall has covered the whole imperial city. Here Boya somehow with his body awakes that bird statue. Now he himself has become that bird. After it, he goes to the priest and fights with him. There is a massive fight between them. On the other side, King Ming goes to the princess and tells her the truth. That he is not that master that priest is just a guardian angel. Then King Ming makes the princess meets his master with his powers. Here that master tells truth to the princess. He tells that how he had done wrong. Then he changes into ashes. After it, the princess understands that the master is now not in this world. King Ming and the princess again come to the imperial city. There's still a fight between Bo Ya and the priest going on. Then King Ming tells Bo Ya that this snake will die with that sword that was given by his master. Here Bo Ya takes out the sword but before Bo Ya killed him with the sword. He makes the sword fell from Bo Ya's hands. Now the princess picks up that sword. She warns the priest that if he will not stop all this she will kill herself. With it, she cuts her neck with a sword. They were close to each other. She kills herself. Seeing it, the priest gets broken. Because he was with the princess for a long time. Now getting a chance from it, Boya attacks that priest. Here the snake and the priest both die. Like this, the protection wall was beginning to remove. With it, here the movie also ends. Thank you for watching.